Yeah, what's going on everybody? It's Brian with you from the game Common, and we are playing some more Civ 6. We're continuing with our Roman campaign and we're currently at war with Greece because yeah, of course, of course. So uh, we just finished military technology and we have no freaking niter. Alrighty then. No freaking niter. Wonderful. Yeah, that's wonderful. That's absolutely wonderful. Okay, well, Valletta, I guess you're going to die. I'm going to have to declare war on you at some point, I think. I'm going to have to conquer you. I mean, there's no other option. That's the only place for Niter. Unless there was Niter over here in your lands, which I don't see. Gorgo, you don't have any Niter. There's no Niter over here. Oh, speaking of that, we need to pick up this tobacco. Why have we not picked up this tobacco yet? Yo, come get this tobacco. Even though you are going to flip in one turn. Ah, oh, this is going to be awkward. I don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> uh, so we should probably... I mean, you can attack from there. That's fine. Yeah. Ah, oh, dang it. Freaking city flips. Uh, I hate loyalty. My gosh. I freaking hate loyalty at this point. There's no niter over here either. Hmm. What about up here? I don't... There's one way up there in Germany, but... Yeah, this is awkward. Okay. Uh, so what next What next tech do we want then? Uh, we should probably go for harbors, which would be probably helpful at this point in my life. Currency in a market might be nice too. Yeah, actually in two turns, because then we can build a market over there and actually get another trader up. Weren't we rushing ahead? I think we were trying to rush for gunpowder. I think we were talking about rushing for gunpowder, but that's not really going to be something we can actually do. So, because <laughs> we don't have niter, so we're going to have to go destroy someone to get niter. Ah, freaking heck, man. So we could go and finish our ancient walls. Yes. Did we forget to freaking switch our policies? No, we switched to civil service, so we never finished it. Gotcha. So we're actually going to be really slow at building walls then. Which is probably okay. It's going to take 10 turns. I mean, it's just going to be 5 extra turns of wasted time. So is there something else I could build here instead? A campus would be really good up here. Plus 2. Yeah. Theater square won't be as good. Bath won't be as good. Although bath will grow me. Population. And the thing is, we are growing really slow. We really need to get food up here. Do we have... We have ancient walls. Oh, okay. So we just built ancient walls here. Never mind. I don't know what I'm thinking. Builder isn't going to be able to do much of anything. I think let's throw it on a campus. Yeah. 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 Sure. And you're going to actually get a bonus because of... 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 Of the encampment district right there. We'll move you over here. You should be getting ready to come kill this guy. Cool. You're just chilling still. You are going to fortify. Because I can't really do anything with you right now. You are just going to sleep. Because I don't want to do anything with you now. France is trading with Greece. Alright, well Greece isn't going to exist here pretty quickly. This is going to be awesome when we lose Ephesus here. Call you a thoughtless cur is an insult to our curs. You denounce their friend. Well, your friend's not going to exist here soon. I'm just going to throw that out there. So, we did lose Ephesus. And my troops went over the freaking borders, because that makes sense. Hmm. We actually can't do that much damage, which is a little freaky. Yeah, they put my troops in really awkward spots. I don't like how that worked out. I still want to keep doing damage. Here's the problem. I need to keep doing damage. Oh, you know what? We can use you to shoot you. That's fine. You're not doing anything else, so you can come kill this guy. And then I think we need to move in over here with you. You are going to come here and then go there. Do more damage to the city. You're going to come here. 
and do more damage to the city. You're going to be at a little bit low HP. That's fine. We could kill the swordsman off, but I really need to get these walls down. So let's do something like that. You already attacked over. You need to come over here, attack here. My only concern is they end up putting this swordsman inside Ephesus, which would be really bad for us. Because it's just going to freaking slow the game down. Um, I'm going to move you over here because I want you to come attack me. I would love for you to keep shooting me. That would, that would make me so happy right now. Then you're going to come up here because we need to get the tobacco. Cool. Uh, the settler, you're going to go in the city. That's cool. I guess you're going to stay right there. You're going to come over here and beat this warrior down that's just chilling. You're going to come back up here so we can come take Magdenburg. <gasps> they didn't take Magdenburg. You take Magdenburg? We might be able to take Magdenburg. Okay, so uh, do we have any cities that are like um, not doing great on loyalty? Not really. So I don't have a governor or rather um, you're not. You're not located anywhere. I'm just going to put you up here in a pernum just for a little bit. We're going to end up moving you, obviously. Housing, city lost. Yep. Governor is assigned Ephesus. Yep. Okay. You straight up suicided, which is what we hoped for. The swordsman. I'm just hoping the swordsman. Oh, my gosh. Freaking Gorgo's moving in on the city. Piss off, Gorgo. She doesn't have a military unit, so she can't do anything to it. Or a melee unit. The city did gain HP. World entered the medieval age. Okay. Wealth consists. Uh... And we're just in a normal age, correct? Yeah, we're just in a normal age. So let's see. Peter, Georgia are both in golden ages. Greece, um, Norway, Spain uh, are in normal ages. But Alexander is in a dark age. Interesting. As is France, as is Germany. So this is actually really, really good for us. That means... Um, this essentially means that all of our neighbors are exerting less pressure, less loyalty pressure right now, which is really, really good for us. Um, I need to get... God, I really need to get you up here. Should be able to attack you. Boom. Yay. We have Magnumberg now. Unfortunately, it's going to flip. <laughs> we got eight turns, though. Okay, so let's make a dedication. So, gain one error score every time you trigger Eureka. Gain one error score every time you trigger an inspiration. One error score every time you construct a new specialty district. Two error score every time you convert a city. Let's take an honest look here. You guys are all boosted. Kill a unit with the spearman. Never going to happen. Earn a great scientist. Probably not going to happen. Gain feudalism. Potentially could happen. Government policy with slick so six slots. Could happen. Armory, not going to happen. Lumber mill already happened. Build two harbors, probably not going to happen. Two universities, musket men, crossbowmen, bombards. Most of these are going to be hard to do. Build six farms isn't going to really happen. This is going so slow. Maintain four trade routes, two markets, two temples. I don't know any of these are going to freaking happen. We have 23 turns on the science district. We have 18 turns on another science district. We have four turns there. I think we're most likely, if I'm going to be honest, I think we're most likely to get era score every time we construct a special district. I think that's more likely to happen. And we're going to keep the city. Yeah. Well, uh, how much loyalty are you losing? You're only losing 6.4. So we can actually hold on to Magnenburg. Huh. So let's uh, reassign you to Magnenburg. And we're no longer losing Magdenburg. We should no longer be losing Magdenburg. Why are we losing? It was at six, and we placed the dude in this at eight. I don't understand. Uh, however, this should give us more than enough time to buy the monument. Build a monument. Buy a monument or build. Twenty-two turns. My God. Ugh. Where's my builder? Yeah, where'd my builder go? I might actually send you up there. Where did his warrior go? He must have suicided into me? I guess he suicided into me. Hi, come up here and help start repairing things, please. Um, you, I guess, just sit here and heal. You're going to come up here. I guess go into the city. We could we could try looking for mains now. Yeah, we could actually come conquer mains. Uh, Ephesus should also fall here pretty quickly. 
And I'm assuming... Oh my god, we need to do like two damage. This is so sucky. Okay, good. Okay, good. <laughs> I was so worried that we weren't going to be able to get in. I was just like, dang it, we're going to be so close. So how much are you losing? You're losing 15. So we need you to come over here to Ephesus, please. And Ephesus is still falling. Now it's losing 10. See, this doesn't make any freaking sense. It was at negative 15, now it's at negative 10. We put a governor there that was worth eight. That doesn't make sense, game. Uh, we're gonna go for the monument repair yet again. We've burned the crap out of this town like 16 times. Uh, we're gonna move you here and let's get some loyalty going. Please, thank you. Uh, you need to heal, oh, promote, that's what I want. Defending against range attacks, please. You, man. Oh, crap. Got an ar freaking archer here. That's what I need. Cool. So now I can keep shooting the walls. So that means the city is actually really close to falling. We just need you to stay there and attract all of the attacks. Still, please. I could probably bring the walls down right now, right? Yeah, this will actually bring the walls down. Will I live? Probably. Well, actually, if the walls are down, they can't shoot, right? Let's hold off a turn. Let's just heal for one turn. Get a little bit more HP. Um, so Athens is gonna fall here pretty quick. I'm assuming when Athens falls, Ephesus should no longer be getting any sort of loyalty issues. Uh, Cause that is six, that is six loyalty. And it'll probably be a little bit. Yeah, I wish we were in a golden age. That would have been really helpful. Build three mines. Hmm, celestial navigation, improve two sea resources. Let's knock that out for one turn. It's going to allow me to build lighthouses, which will allow me to get trade routes. Uh, but first, I need to build a harbor. Uh, are we going to straight just declare war on Gorgo at this point? We might as well, almost. I mean, the only concern I have is Gorgo has a lot of troops in my territory. So we may not want to straight declare war on her. Her city doesn't have walls, so it's going to fall a hell of a lot easier. We'll probably need a turn or two to reposition my troops. Oh, I also need to denounce her, so that's going to take a couple turns. Uh, yeah, 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 we know about you. We need a new quest. Okay. Let's see, Geneva, what was your quest? Send a trader out. Uh, okay. Inspiration, you want a great artist, great engineer. Trigger Eureka for Castle still. Yeah, I don't know about any of those. Uh, Governor moved, Governor moved. Yes, Geneva made peace. And we're no longer suzerain of Geneva. Yes. We're no longer suzerain of Geneva because, you know, we moved our, our chick. Um, Arbosa, God, he has so many freaking dudes there. Do and by dudes I mean envoys, clearly. So you want that? No, I need my I need my freaking resources right now. I'm sorry. Yep, there you go. Keep shooting the freaking ship. Um, I think we're gonna go pillage the ship now. You're low enough Set HP. I probably spies. should come and pillage. Why can't we pillage? We don't have enough movement points. Really? How many movement points do we freaking need? That's stupid. All right. Goodbye, walls. Goodbye. I could switch with you two. And then that's going to allow me to shoot. Pillaging's only gonna give me science. Oh, actually science. 25 science. How much science is this stuff taking? 1100. How much is mathematics? 200. But it's really only like 100 or something like that. So yeah, probably not. Let's hold off one turn. I think we're gonna be okay just to wait a turn. Um, you need to promote, sure. Let's do combat strength with you. And remember, I mean, we have all these Gorgo troops that are just like right there, which is gonna be kind of annoying. I would like to get you over here before Gorgo, before I declare war on Gorgo, that would be nice. We were moving you up here to repair. Unfortunately, it's gonna take 16 hours because once again, <sighs> Gorgo has troops. Do you have walls, Anzo? You do? Let's get library because I need science desperately. Is a harbor worth it over here? 
Probably not. Also, I really need to get this freaking wine. But I can't because Gorgo won't move her freaking troops. That's single-handedly the only reason I'm declaring war at this point. <laughs> I, I'm tired of dealing with their crap. <sighs> In my territory. Okay. You... Can't really do much of anything. If I move you over here, though, you will be able to shoot Sparta. I love how Sparta doesn't have walls. Sparta didn't have walls, right? Hold up, we're Googling this, because this is actually... Um, I'm pretty sure Sparta never had walls, because they never felt the need to have walls. Did Sparta have walls? Sparta have slaves. No, walls. Sparta reached the height in 404 BC. When it was in its prime, Sparta had no city walls. Its inhabitants, it seemed, preferred to defend it with men rather than mortar. I remember that. Yeah, that's why I always love Sparta. Sparta's just so badass. Uh, okay, so we have a random archer that's up here. Also, why is Greece way the freaking heck up here with warriors? I don't understand. Oh, we, ah, that's why. Okay, so yeah, we want to put you down here because we're going to want to end up murdering these guys in a couple turns. Magnenburg is gaining loyalty. So there must have just been a, okay. So that number just must have uh, switched. Like it just didn't um, properly update. So we really need to get a monument. So when we produce the monument, we're actually gonna be gaining one loyalty per turn. We also don't need you up there anymore because you're gaining loyalty, that's fine. Ah, oh, I love that everyone's in a dark age. It's very helpful for me. <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, awesome, awesome, awesome. You're gonna skip your turn. Uh, Peter Phil finished the Colossus. Magnenburg is losing loyalty, but it's not losing loyalty. Um, hey, heal. Next turn. Units. Uh, heal, because I'm not using you right now. Yeah, just heal. And we have a scout that's just randomly over here and can't do anything. Or what? We're not at war with Antioch, are we? No. I, d I don't understand. You didn't explore all the world, so why are you yelling at me to move you? There must have been an enemy unit that it's all. Adolfo that France is trading with Germany. I I thought that said your delegate Adolf learned that France is trading with Germany, and I was really confused there for a minute. Mathematics, so we can now do plus one or get plus one movement on water. Cool. We're going to peelage and get a bunch of health. Peelage. Um, and we're going to go ahead and shoot Athens. Goodbye, Athens. You have been fun. I'm ready for you to die. Dang it. <laughs> we still need more time to kill it. Oh my gosh, it has so much HP still. All right, next turn. Next turn, we should be able to kill it. We shot with both of our archers. Yeah. We may end up coming and straight attacking. We can't actually get there next turn, so you're going to hold there for a turn. You are coming over there. Yeah. Okay, this is all fine. This is all fine. You are still making it over there. I don't know actually what tile we want to put it in. Probably right there. One, two, and we can actually get the wine over there. Getting close to the nighter. Uh, okay. What else did I need to do? Science. We got mathematics. We're knocking out all these cheap, easy ones. So let's uh, grab apprenticeship. I actually would love to throw a couple apprenticeship ones down. How are we falling behind on tech? We're actually up top. We are actually in second place in science behind Macedon. And we have the same number of... Okay, so our science is great. Uh, are we catching up on culture? We are slightly. We're no longer at the bottom. <laughs> so we are catching up just a little bit. Uh, we're getting there, guys. We're getting there. Actually doing pretty good on science. I'm actually really shocked with how well we're doing on science. Uh, considering the difficulty we're playing on. Um, where do we want to go with you? I don't really, is this a hill? It should be a hill, correct? It's a classical road, it's marvel, it's a quarry. No, I guess it's not a hill because it's a quarry. So I could put you in the forest. Yeah, we will get the first attack off, that's true. We are going to get the first attack. I'm just worried about them all teaming up on my crossbowmen. But let's be honest. I have 43 freaking attack. I have 30 melee strength. So I have as much melee strength right now as the warriors. Actually, I have more than the warriors. Um, 
And actually, I would have more if they attacked me into the forest. So, yeah. Yeah, I think we're fine there. You are just going to go ahead and fortify up there. I'm tired of moving you. Um, and then, Mr. Dude, you're going to keep going this way because we still haven't met everyone. Scythia's still over there somewhere. Unmet player, unmet player, unmet. We still haven't met three freaking people. So, I think Scythia's over here. And I don't remember who else. Oh, and then we have England and Scotland. Oh, uh, yeah. How are we going to get up there? Jeez. Ugh. Peter made peace. Uh, Magnaburg's losing loyalty, but it's not. Crossbowman's uh, promotable. Oh, you are. Dang it! Dang it! Freaking city grew or something. Now we're losing 1.5. It wasn't because I moved the unit out of here, right? You did just grow population. Hmm. It, oh, you know what it is? It's because I moved the chick out of Geneva, because that's plus two that we're losing. It's going to be really intriguing to see uh, if Athens is losing loyalty. So we got to remember our crossbowmen needs to be upgraded. Um, they produced another unit, but they're about to die, so it don't matter. I don't really think they can save themselves. <laughs> Their archer just appeared in my territory. All right. That works. So shoot you, shoot you, and conquered. Cool. You defeated us, but what we leave behind is woven in the lives of other lives of others. Aw, Greece will not stand the test of time. Plus five era score. Nice. That's actually a lot of era. Uh, yes, we will keep the city. Now, you're gonna rebel in four turns. You're gonna rebel in two turns. Why? You're at negative three. You are losing 15 per turn. Hmm. So if I put... I could put our other dude over there. How close are we to actually getting another governor? Kind of need another governor at this point. Uh, okay, wait, where are we here? We're in Alexandria. So give me a market because I need to get a trade route, please. Thank you. Uh, Athens, man. Three turns for that. I think, and you are getting the plus two from having someone there. Oh, she's not fully established. That's why you're not actually getting the bonus. So I think I am going to take my other governor. And even though this means we're going to lose Magnenburg, I think we can only focus on one side at a time right now. So we're going to have to move you over to Athens. You're going to end up like eventually. And now it's four turns. I mean, eventually we're going to have to retake Magnenburg anyways. Do I need this other guy up here? Maybe. I think I'd rather keep you here just so I can take on Sparta. The question is, if I take over Sparta, is that like... Let's move you here. We're gonna fortify. I'm gonna move you here can't move you out so let's move you here I think I could take Sparta in one turn I really do you need to get up there you need to come there I think I really could take Sparta in one turn Put you down here go ahead and heal up crossbowmen's this is the awkward thing is they can't really shoot so we're gonna hit you with the catapult now the problem is his archers are right there that's gonna be the issue I can move one crossbowman here. The other crossbowman is going to have to go over there. It's going to be close. You celebrate. Greece will not stand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ephesus is losing loyalty. Magnaburg is losing loyalty. Pericles has been defeated. Greece has been captured. You can maintain more trade routes. Oh, snap. Ah, nice. So, uh, hey, can I buy a trader? How much are traders? 300. Yeah, no. We're making no gold right now. <laughs> we can build one next turn, though. You go ahead and heal. Uh, you can't really do anything else right now, so skip. Um, we're going to keep you right there, because we are going to declare war on Sparta here probably pretty quick. You might as well fortify up. You are going to come over in this direction, because we need to freaking find our last player. And we moved you to Athens. So, the question is, you're losing seven per turn. So, seven, 14... Uh, 21, 28, 35, 42, 49. So that's seven turns. 
really eight turns before Athens falls. I'm just, I'm a little concerned about Ephesus flipping behind me when I'm not paying attention. I think if we take Sparta, we should be okay at that point. You're only losing three per turn right now because you're getting negative 13. Five plus six is uh, 11. And so then you're maybe taking one and one from these two cities. So flipping this would get rid of five, which means we should be positive at that point. You, however, are losing seven per turn. But when she's established, that will actually give me plus two and you'll actually even out to zero. And we also have the monument going down. I think we need to freaking rush out Sparta. I think that's about the only thing we can actually do. So let's go next turn. How long have we been going, by the way? Uh, we're at 25 minutes. I cannot, I cannot, I'm sorry, but I cannot trade my crap right now. Ooh, we can actually get the marble over here. Why are you denouncing me? Because I'm a warmonger. Yeah, well, true. But come on. I'm not that bad, man. Seriously, I'm not that bad. We also had a... Where did our other workers go? Do we have a worker going right here? We moved you way the heck up here, because we're going to start repairing, and we're going to repair that, apparently, first. Where'd our other builder go? Uh... Really? Freaking, freaking city-states. I had another builder right here. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's build a trader real quick. I also would like to get a builder. Civil service is going to be done in two turns. Yay! Wait, I wanted to... I want a builder. I want a trader first. Yeah, thank you. Because I need more money. I desperately need money right now. So, okay. This is a new turn. We're going to move you over here. We need you... I wish you were promotable. We actually need you here. And we're going to promote you right away. Exercise zone of control, plus 10 combat strength when defending versus city attacks. Yes. And we're going to move you over here and start giving you some HP. I think we could probably straight murder this archer, move into the tile, and then attack the city. The problem is, whoever I put there is going to get hit by quite a few units, but I think that's still going to be okay. You're going to get put probably out over on this side. You might get put over there. Um, we're not going to attack this turn. We'll have to wait till at least next turn. You gain HP, you gain HP. How many turns? Ephesus is gaining loyalty. Okay, that's good. So we basically have seven turns um, before Athens flips. You're actually gaining loyalty. I'm cool with that. Uh, Magnenburg is going to fall in seven turns. Whatever. You still can't move over there. We must have moved you this turn. I thought I moved you last turn. Uh, okay, uh, let's see. Civic engineering, we got a boost. We constructed a district, so we got plus one error score. Cool. What is our error score at? We're at 57 to 74. Ugh. Ephesus does not provide enough food. Ephesus is losing loyalty. That's a lie. And Athens needs more housing. So you still don't have enough food to keep growing. Oh, we actually built it on the tobacco already. Ah, okay. That's what happened. <laughs> so we need to throw a farm out here. Actually, we just need fishing boats. We need another builder is what we really freaking need. Okay, I mean things are going okay. I think we're getting I think we're getting there. We're getting there. We're getting there Everyone's gonna think I'm a warmonger here pretty quick. That's the downside but it, We're gonna have to do what we're gonna have to do <laughs> Yeah, peace be you too. Um, yeah, hi, I'm declaring war by the way <laughs> Awkward all right, I think we're gonna declare war this turn, but I think before we do that, let's go ahead and, um, let's go ahead and wrap this episode up. Huh, Norway. Draman, interesting. Uh, and then governor is now established in Ephesus, which means you are actually getting plus two from this, correct? Yes, nearby diplomat governor. So you're actually only losing five per turn. So we have a little bit of time. And the thing is, as soon as we flip Sparta, 
uh, Athens should no longer have any more issues. So we're gonna wrap this episode up here. Things are coming together. Slowly but surely, things are coming together. I guess at this point, then we're gonna push up north and we might as well attack straight away to Pella. We may just keep leaving Germany as is, honestly. Um, it's not like anyone's gaining a foothold. And the thing is, like this loyalty issue is kind of actually benefiting us. Um, yeah, because I mean, look, France, Wilhelmina, Germany, they're all really, really low right now in score. And science, I mean, we're up here in third place. Tied for the tech lead. We're just not making nearly as much science per turn which is a little on the scary side. So we will slowly fall behind, but we do have two science districts going up. So overall, I think we're doing good. And we have a freaking library going down. Um, and here's the thing. Did they build a science district? No, they built a freaking religious thing. Crap. <laughs> if they would have built a science district, I'd be feeling a little bit better about this. But I think we're I think we're going to be OK uh, for now. Hope you guys are enjoying it. If you are, drop a like, comment. Let me know what you think. As always, hit the subscribe button. Join the game. Come in. Show your support. I'll see you guys later. Bye.